This one has a real curveball as far as the parallel structure. We have three verbs, received, declines, and regains. And naively, you might think those three have to be in parallel, who receives, declines, and regains. That would be collect correct parallel if those three verbs were talking about the same subject. And that's exactly what A has, but when we read A, we read there's, realize there's a problem. This kind of composer who receives popular acclaim when living often goes into decline after death. Someone going into decline after death, that really makes no sense. What's declining after the composer's death is not the composer himself, but his reputation. So A is wrong, and in fact, while this would normally be a correct structure for parallelism. This is not what this particular sentence demands because the last two verbs are talking about something different than the first verb. The first verb is talking about the composer. The last two verbs are talking about the composer's reputation. So this is not going to work in this sentence. So after the first clause, who receives popular claim while living, then we need a conjunction and then the second clause with the two verbs in parallel declines and regains. So in B, we have whose reputation declines and regains, but we're missing a conjunction here, so that's problematic. In C, we have the conjunction but, whose reputation declines and regains, okay. In D, again, we have the, we have the who receives, who declines, and who regains. So first of all, the who declines even though it declines a reputation, it's still somewhat illogical. But notice also the verb tense, present, present tense, present tense, past tense. So that's not going to work. In E, we have conjunction, has declined. So again, has declined, suggesting the composer has declined. So that's problematic. And regain. So again, verb tense is wrong. So that's out. Notice also, I love this, very subtle mistake regains popularity again, regains again. That's redundant. If something regains, by definition, it's happening again. To say something regains again is completely redundant. So redundant, redundant, redundant. And right away, the only one that is unscathed and correct is answer choice C, which has the correct conjunction, the correct parallelism, has this very elegant way, instead of saying regained again, regained its former status, very elegant. So C is sleek, elegant, powerful, free of grammatical error, and by far the best answer choice.